your playback controls at the bottom of your paper, but I just want to introduce you to them. So obviously we've already done the recording button. Um, this is the full gamut. So this is like the left-hand side and this is the right-hand side. So record, pause, and stop are on both sides. If you need to pause during your recording, you can. So if you um, want to even, and you can instruct your students. Like you're going to have to manage your classroom differently. If you don't want something recorded, you can have to tell them, everyone tap pause. I want this recorded. For whatever reason, I'm just saying, use it. And then they can as well. So if you're doing something like, Maybe you're going to have a, a discussion, and you don't need the whole discussion because the instruction is on hold. You're doing a little breakout. You can have them pause. They can also pause during playback. So your students that are really not good note takers that can't write and listen at the same time because they have processing issues, they can pause during playback as well while the pen is playing. And then obviously the stop button ends the recording session, but it also ends the playback if you want to just stop the pen from playing. Um, let's say you record something and you hit stop without ever having written any notes. What happens to it? It's still on the pen. It's called a paperless session. Mm -hmm. um, to access it, you would need to use this menu system, though. Would it sync to Evernote? Probably. It'll probably be in the LiveSky. It used to sync to LiveSky desktop, because I haven't tested it on Sky, because I'm new at Sky also. Um, in the past, it did. And then you can find the audio file in the audio folder. But I'd have to test it to give you a solid answer. I'll test it right now, because I realize I started recording. <laughs> I haven't heard anything, because I thought, what if I just press stop right now? What uh-huh. Okay, yeah, let me know then. Um, and see, in our old software, it used to have like a different icon, so you would know what was a paperless session. So, All right, so during playback, you also have jump buttons, so you can jump ahead or jump back in 10 seconds, and those are really awesome for note takers. Because if the teacher says something important, you don't write it down until after you hear it. So when you're writing, you're really not recording what the teacher said that's related to what you're writing. You're really recording what the teacher's saying now, right? And so it's perfect because you tap on that note, you jump back about 10 seconds, and that usually takes you back to that beginning of the thought that the teacher was saying. Does that make sense? Because you're on a delay in note taking. You're on an audio delay in a sense. So each time you tap either forward or back, you jump 10 seconds. If you hold your ink tip down on the button, it will start to speed jump. It will speed jump you through the session. The next one is a jump to position. So this is actually um, relative to the entire recording. So if it's an hour long recording, you obviously don't want to be jumping through it in 10 second increments. So this would take you to the middle, you know, the beginning, the end of the entire recording. If you write a lot of notes, you probably won't even use these, except maybe to jump back in the, you know, the, this one, um, because you're going to tap on your notes to trigger playback. But if you're not a copious note taker, like a lot of our students can't process that, then they're going to use these a lot to navigate. Um, now on the other side of your paper over here, the playback speed, which is on the right side, this is one of our most valuable features for any students with processing issues or if they're learning in a non-native language. Because there are teachers that speak too quickly for them. And so the minus button will reduce the playback speed of the recording each time you tap it. And you can tap it up to five times. So it goes down in 10% increments. So on the fifth tap, you're actually listening to the recording at half the speed. So it just slows it down. And then the plus sign increases it in 20% increments. So 120 up to 200 times. So you can accelerate learning as well. If you're listening to instruction of something that you're really good at, you can listen to that instructor faster. Like I do a lot of audio books, and I usually do one and a half times because I can listen to a piece of fiction and comprehend it without, um, without going a little faster than the speaker speaking. And then the last buttons on the right are just your volume buttons and your mute button. The mute, just so you know, this last button on the right, it mutes only the speaker, not the microphone. So there's no capabilities for editing audio or muting out any audio in terms of the recording. We'll mute the speaker, though. Okay? So now what I want you to do is I want you to tap on stop, and I just want to give you about a minute or two to try these out. So tap back on your handwriting to trigger the playback. And then I want you to um, try the playback speed, especially, that's a fun one, the jumping, and go ahead and try them on out. You want to try? I'm good. <laughs> I have 